I'd like to demonstrate the infrared uh, detectors attached to a board that is designed to trigger a relay. There's a detector here, a detector here, the circuit board is in the middle and there's a, uh, a cell phone battery that's putting out about 7.4 volts uh, in the background. Uh, one of the uh, sensors plugs in here, one right behind it. You'll notice there is a heat sink on the, uh, the voltage regulator because it will get quite warm. These things draw a good bit of current. And there are three LEDs down here at the bottom. If I put my hand in front of one of the sensors, you notice two things happen. One, the blue light goes on, which indicates that the relay has been tripped. And also, the rightmost or yellow LED indicates that that's being uh, triggered. Now if I come over here and do the other one, that's the point where a train may have passed and if I go over that and over that and over that, eventually what's going to happen is the relay will click out. But you may have noticed, let me do it again, I'll do it the other way this time. If I keep that blocked or keep uh, blocking it intermittently, the relay never releases until about oh two or three, maybe four seconds have passed. Let's try it. One, two, it's about two seconds there. That of course can be adjusted in software. If you hit this one first, hitting this one again will do nothing. It's hitting this one that will eventually release the relay. And by the same token, if you hit this one, it's hitting the second one that eventually will release the relay.